Hi guys, I'm Jojo, Fairy of Love, Astro Barbie, and it's eclipse time. Ta-da! That's why I'm wearing my glasses. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. Woo! We're living in very crazy, exciting times, don't you think so? Well, this week the sun is innovative Aquarius. Wow! Time to be original. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. We love you, Aquarius, because you care for humanity. The moon this week will visit the signs of Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, and Virgo. And of course, the big, big news of the week. On Wednesday, we have a second full moon in Leo, which is a super blue moon, total lunar eclipse. Wow, in the sign of Leo, wow. It will be seen in most of the USA, in some other places, but USA, we will be able to see it, affecting deeply both inner and outer environments, creating a lot of very high emotional levels and somehow, yes, deep feelings and all kinds of crazy reactions will be very high on the charts. Although full moons are always about completion, it could be really hard for everybody right now, I mean in our personal life, collectively in the governments to do anything or finish anything. It's a little bit like a spiral up and down. Better be flexible, understanding, go very slow. And the whole key is maybe to eat less, eat little fruits and vegetables, and not to drink too much. Go very easy on anything that alters the brain because you could go boom, out of the space. Sleep more too, very, very important. And most importantly, just do things with the flow. Take it as it comes. If you are born within about 10 days from this eclipse or around August 3rd, expect that 2018 vibration to the rooster of the dog will be a turning point in your life. You should contact an astrologer to get exactly more information about this. You could call me. I'm a good astrologer. Actually, I'm the best. Saturday, the moon in Gemini making a very happy trine to the sun brings us a lot of enthusiasm and a good day to connect with people through social media, even better by phone and even better than better than better in person because all meetings and all conversations will do go very well and it will be a lot, a lot of fun. On Saturday, the moon in Gemini brings a love of life of animals, of nature, of food, of everything in the world. And a sense of justice too. Everybody wants to fight for justice, especially women. Remember, women now are getting the power since the eclipse of August 21st in 2017 in the sun of Leo. So this whole eclipse here is sort of really pushing women to get their power back. So let's count our blessings today and show our gratitude. On Sunday, the moon in Cancer, sextile, Uranus, planet of change, opposes Saturn, planet of wisdom. A very good time to enjoy the company of people we love, family and friends. We will need to be supported somehow. Ask and you shall receive. On Monday, moon in Cancer, smiling to the sun and Neptune and lucky Jupiter brings a lucky day to gamble, to invest, to play lottery, and most importantly, to express our feelings to the people we care about and maybe connect with new friends, all right? Or even to fall in love. But maybe not the perfect one, but somebody exciting. So enjoy it, live in the now. Tuesday, the moon in Leo trining Mars, planet of energy in Sagittarius. At the eve of tomorrow's eclipse, we can really feel <gasps> the craziness in the air, electricity, sensitivity, strong emotions. And I think that reaching out to other people for support today is the best thing to do. Don't be shy. They will be happy to do the favor. On Wednesday, here we are, happy super full moon eclipse in the sign of royal glamorous Leo. Wow, we can feel it in our bones bringing a very, very strong, strong feeling and strong emotions and also uncertainty. Things go here, they go there, they go up, they go down, they go sideways. Wow, 
where on the same day also Mercury, planet of communication and Capricorn enters friendly Aquarius for two and a half weeks. That will make the communications a little bit more fast. It's starting to make a little sense, even with the eclipse. You can see the communication is like pushing for the truth, pushing for, for, for what is fair. And also to think outside the box. Mercury in Capricorn is grounded conservative. In Aquarius, it means we could go wild and let our hair down. Go with the flow though. Relax, smile, be original, true to yourself. And most importantly, do make a wish to this extraordinary eclipse super formal because it will be granted. Thursday, the moon in Leo makes a beautiful trine to Jupiter's good fortune, but it does square Mars planet of energy. It's a good day to put order in our lives, take some decisions, make some choices, make amends, forgive, and start over. Never too late for that, right? On Friday, Groundhog Day. It predicts a very early spring. The moon in Virgo also smiling at Pluto, planet of world affairs and politics, and the sun brings a sense of truth, justice, love, definitely more peace. It's like the energy settles down a little bit, so let's enjoy a more flowy, starting feeling a bit normal. Well, if we could call anything normal this year, who knows? But just enjoy today. It's sort of a more flowy day. Okay, have fun. Aquarius, happy birthday to you. Cutie, cutie, we love you. Wow, what a great week. Let me take my glasses off because you are the star this week, so I don't want to upstage you. The full moon eclipse in your relationship sector brings a new, less rebellious you. More tolerant, more open to all kinds of new possibilities. So open your wings of freedom wide. Adventure in your personal life awaits. Make a wish also on Wednesday, especially in love. In career, powerful people are definitely on your side to help you more, make more money. Be very confident, you're definitely going places. And remember that what you feel inside, what you believe in your mind, and what you wish for in your heart is exactly what people see and feel. So you have to navigate that properly. On the weekend, passion is in the air. Enjoy. Taurus, Cancer, Taurus, show they care. Your magical color, red, lucky numbers, eight and 26. Pisces, the full moon and eclipse in your work sector brings positive changes in all of your life. You could feel it. This eclipse day, like, whoa, especially on Wednesday, you'll be like psychic. You have a lot, a lot of charms and a lot of love sex appeals. It's double this week and people really admire you. And in career, you know what you want. You just have to negotiate and push for your ideas and give a chance to the other people to talk and share their ideas. In finances, you're definitely hoping for a miracle, but believe in the wizard in you and you will manifest anything you want. Socially, you're very much admired. You could make new friends this week. It's very good also to help with charities. If you do, you will be rewarded. And on the weekend, everybody wants a piece of the golden you. So give a little bit here and there. Why not? Your magical color, gold, the lucky numbers, 11 and 21. Aries, hope is in the air for you. The full moon eclipse in your creative sector brings awareness, more clear thinking about who you are, what you want. You feel definitely more in charge of your destiny, wouldn't you say? And you meet challenges head on in love, in career and finances. Wow. In personal life, you have all the tools you need inside of you to be happy. So do what it takes. Clean out also the house. Make a fresh start. What's good for you, keep. What's not, buy. In career, you are definitely uh, have the keys to really do something that is good, that could bring some good rewards. You also attract the respect of the powers that be. On the weekend, Cupid, my dear, has a very nice surprise for you. Enjoy. Your magical color red, lucky numbers, 1 and 45. Taurus, ole ole, you're taking more and more charge of your destiny. You'll be still busy this week, but you have more time for yourself. The full moon eclipse in your home sector brings more flow and inner peace. You'll also want to be more with your loved ones. In career, you benefit from other people's financial good fortune, good time to invest 
and also network your ideas. Be very confident because you are moving in the direction of total success and financial independence and also love in uh, your personal life if you're looking for it. On the weekend, home sweet home is where you should be. Your magical color turquoise like in numbers 2 and 11. Salam! Gemini, Gemini, the full moon and eclipse in your communication sector bring deep feelings and the need also to do things differently. You have to. The focus is on your ability to level the people what you want and what you know, and you'll get it. It's also a week to finish what you start. A project also could get the green light, or you could receive a very encouraging email. Mercury also gives you a big boost and heightens your intelligence and your sense of justice. That's very good. If you do, you will be greatly rewarded. On the weekend, you'll have a chance to relax before the eclipse hits your life. So do relax and pepper yourself. Your magical color orange, lucky number is nine. Anything. Cancer, the full moon eclipse in your financial sector heightens your energy. It brings also lots of intuition and determine a lot of determination and stamina to succeed. It's like everything you touch turns to gold. Yuppie, let me touch you because I'm a cancer. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Anything to do with fashion, negotiations, romance, healing, getting better, uh, creative projects, all favored. You just have to ask and you will just manifest it. You see the big picture about the purpose of your highest destiny in your life this week. That eclipse will open up a door that you wouldn't believe. It's in your second house and wow. No one now can stop you from succeeding. I'm telling you, you will know what the word bliss means this year. Get ready for also goodness from women around you and also to get what you deserve. The universe has your back. So just go along and follow your intuition. On the weekend, you're very popular and ready to receive lots of hugs and kisses and you will get more than you could ever want and you'll enjoy every minute of it. I just love it too. I can help it. I'm a lover. Your magical color pink lucky numbers 5 and 11. You should play lottery. Busy lion! Well, the full moon eclipse in your sign. You and Aquarius are the stars of the week. And I'll tell you, you may end up connecting with many, many Aquarius this week. Somehow it brings a fresh start in your life, a new confidence. You're, like you, you're not what you used to be before, you're brand new. And you're doing very good. You feel also in charge of your wellness, of your health, and you're in shape, a good time also to really get anything to do with your beauty, to improve your appearance, because all kinds of magical things await this year. In career cooperation, serving other people is definitely satisfying and it brings results. In love, watch for serendipity. You could also see an old friend you haven't seen for a long time or meet some new friends that will enrich your life. The more you forgive, the more you move on, the more you give, well, the more lucky and happier you will be. But you know that already, right? On the weekend, make new strategies for your future. It's a new paradigm. Cancer, Virgo, Leo, Aquarius definitely are part of your life. Your magical color gold, lucky numbers 2 and 11. Virgos, the full moon and eclipse in your spiritual sector brings sort of wit and charm, questions and answers about your life. Do not doubt in yourself, please. Do not worry, be happy. You are great and you can, can accomplish anything you want. Especially now with Jupiter in your third house. Are you kidding me? Express yourself and stand tall for what you believe in. And also, if any new lessons you've learned spiritually, apply them. Okay? Success is definitely on your side. At home, be understanding, listen to other people, and you will get exactly what you wish for. In career, take action, focus on your goals, and definitely you're getting results there. If you're studying or looking for a job, you could also get a break this week or some ideas. On the weekend, friendship plays key role. Animals bring you luck. Treat them nice, right? Keep them in your home. Don't put them outside. Your magical color, turquoise, lucky numbers, 3 and 21. Libra, the full moon eclipse in your social sector brings new, new ideas. It expands your wings. It brings you hope and also healing. You can not catch up your breath and you feel like you're going to be okay. Do not take more than you could handle. You are in a healing time and reorganizing your life in all ways. The law, publishing, anything to do with health, creative projects, all favored. Pay attention to your dreams and spiritual values. In love, ask questions. 
share you'll get the support that you need very easily on the weekend taking care of your obligation and healing and pampering yourself is what you, what you need your magical color blue lucky numbers 4 and 22 Ta -da! Scorpio the full moon eclipse in your career sector brings you magic power creativity insight you're operating on a high octave this week so be careful because the eclipse is really making you electric and a genius be careful what what you wish for because it will manifest very quickly keep your thoughts positive trust your hunches be kind fair and you will succeed greatly in career you get a lot done and you'll see the bigger picture about your finances you could also hit the jackpot so play lottery or invest in something long term on the weekend well you will receive or hear beautiful words of love that's for sure so just say thank you i love it give me more give me more your magical color fuchsia lucky numbers 8 and 25. sagittarius the full moon eclipse in your karmic sector make you sensitive aware and ambitious you have big decisions to make this week that eclipse will really help you in career you know what you want and you get it in love better do things softly slowly and with understanding something really good happening here it's for best results is not to rush anything for the next few weeks with mercury in aquarius you can also make new friends and you should take some time off for yourself this week to meditate to reflect to think about your life healing and spirituality are very much favored all week in the weekend you could also have an inspiring psychic experience your magical color violet lucky numbers six and 33 Capricorn, the full moon eclipse in your shared resources sector, bring a conflict between mind and heart and soul. You're all over the place and you're trying to find out which way you're gonna go. You could make a final decision in your personal life that will actually bring in a peace, especially after Thursday and Friday. You're very lucky in career and in finances and you attract also the respect of, the, of your peers. And my advice to you this week, my beauty, don't think too much. Just feel things out and go slow. You're on the beautiful curve now. On the weekend, pamper, pamper, pamper yourself. Meditate, yoga, also very good for you. Your magical color white, lucky numbers, 7 and 42. Here's your wizard affirmation of this eclipse, super blue. Wow, eclipse in Leo. In life, what do we get when we make people feel good? Make someone feel special. Well, guess what you do? You make the world a better place. So this week's emotions will run high. So let's make at least two, three people a day happy, feel better, feel good about themselves. So we will make the world a better place. And I want to wish a very happy birthday to my beautiful goddesses friends, Robin Ann and also Luba. You definitely make the world a better place. Happy Eclipse, everyone. Just enjoy it. We will see it in America. And everywhere else, we'll tell you what we see. Bye. Bonjour, Quebec.